Hey guys, Sim4J here and welcome back to Wild Realms. We are back in Planet Zoo and we are ready to continue building our zoo. Uh, let me just get my microphone in position. I think there's good. Right, first of all, um, we've had a little baby water buffalo. Akin Lana here. Akin Lana, Akin Lana. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a little water buffalo. Look at that. Also, I'm going to unpause the game. Um, second of all, I just had a message pop up on the screen that there was a damaged barrier. So I don't know what that's all about. It seems to have been fixed. Hopefully no animals have escaped because that would be slightly problematic. Um, and our goliath beetles just keep breeding. We've got so many of them. It's unbelievable. Uh, how do I remove them from here? There's a good question. Nope, that's not the right screen. Uh, you'll have to bear with me, folks. Oh, it's just here. There we go. So we've got 14 females and 12 males. We really don't need that many. So I'm going to just select every single one of them, I was going to say. That's not the screen either. What happened here? There we go. Uh, if I shift click, does that select? No, it doesn't. Slightly irritating. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. I'm basically going to get rid of all but two. Uh, one male, one female. I think that will be for the best. He says more with optimism than anything, let's be honest. Uh, now, this is obviously a pre-recorded episode. This isn't live. Um, basically, I'm away from home this week, which is... Why, I'd have loved to have done it live this week, but sadly not able to. How do I... Ah, oh, there you go. Send animal to storage in Trade Center. Right, so we've got one beetle male, one beetle female. I've also got a message on my phone. That's fine. Um, oh, we're about to have a baby zebra as well. That's cool. And the inspector is arri arriving, arriving in 10 months. Okay, I want to select all of these guys. Yeah, and I want a quick trade. So I can't release them to the wild, because I think some of these were bought. So I'm just going to sell them. Bop, done. Okay. So yeah, we are going to continue working on this zoo. One of the first things I want to do is add some trees to... Uh... Our biome, that's what I'm looking for. Grassland. Uh, I want to add some trees to this enclosure. I know that most of these animals prefer not to have trees. But I'm going to add some anyway. Purely because... Actually, some rock work would be nice too. Um, purely just to make it look nicer, if anything. They might not be the happiest animals in the world. With all of this planted, but... Um, you know, when, when guests are riding on the uh, the safari jeep ride, for example, I want them to have a good experience still and not just be sat there wondering what the hell's going on and why there's nothing uh, why there's nothing to look at. So we'll put, put some bushes around. We're going to keep it relatively, you know, oh my goodness. Okay, we will plant one of those because that's awesome. You can't not have one of them, let's be honest. In fact, I want to put that at the back here. Like so. There we are. Uh, an olive tree. Because we got some big giraffes as well. So it's nice to give them something to kind of look at and do. Uh, look at and do? Is that what I meant to say? Probably not. Be nice to give them something to look at. At least. There we go. And then maybe a little bit of shrubbery on the ground. Uh, some nettles would be cool. Do some random placement. Again, I love how the ground there... It just looks so awful, but I love it. And then we got the random rotate thing on still. Or maybe not. Have we got it on? Yeah, random rotation. There we go. Uh, and we'll get... Nope, that's way too big. Way, way too big. Common reeds. Yeah, we'll have some of them by the water here. Kind of like that. And maybe some smaller ones over on this side. Okay. Let's just check the animals are happy still. Mr. Zebra here. Environment. Yeah, you're happy. The rhino. 
also happy. I think it's the ostrich that doesn't enjoy too much foliage. And I don't know where any of them are right now. Oh, there's the little baby one. Bloody hell. They're running fast. Where on earth are you going in a hurry? Yeah, you're happy with the coverage too. Awesome. So yeah, we might come back and put some rock work in as well. Particularly this area here where the ride goes through. We might put a little bit of rock work there. I'm also incredibly tempted to extend this enclosure onto this side, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as is. I am, however, going to edit this track here. Uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. First of all, I'm going to grab all of this. And we're going to delete it. And then from this end... Yeah, it already knows what I want to do. Fantastic. And I should be able to auto-complete that. There we go. And then the other thing I want to do is... Actually, is that what I wanted to do? I don't think that's what I meant to do at all. I think what I meant to do was this. That's what I meant to do. So we'll uh, we'll bring this round this way. Like so. And then we'll curve it round if it lets me. Like this. There we are. And I want this straight. No. Is it because of the terrain? I think it's because of the terrain. That's fine. We'll flatten this out like so. Because I want to build the station piece here. Entry on the right, exit on the left. Why is it that way around now? Have I just accidentally flipped the uh, the rotation of this ride? Huh. Hang on then. Let me just undo all of this. Maybe I'll just leave it as is then. I guess I'll do that. I do want to place the entrance to this ride, which is on this side of the thing. I saw the cheaters were fighting again, so we're going to have to go deal with that. The exit to this ride is going to be on this side. You know, I do want to change this. I do want to change this. This isn't what I want. One second. If this is the way that this game works now, that's really weird. The way that it just flips things around like that. I don't think it is, though. I think I just clicked the wrong thing. Turn off auto tunnel. <clears throat> also, i got to remember, again, you guys can see me. For consistency more than anything, I decided to keep this on. Okay, let's flatten the land here. Maybe then we can uh, see whether this actually does what it looks like it's doing or not. I'm really hoping it doesn't do that, because that would be incredibly annoying. Uh, edit track. Don't let it pull me away. There we go. So I want entry, right, exit, left. Why is it not letting me build it? Okay, I'm going to go back to what we had before and just work with it, basically. I want to do an exit through a gift shop, but it looks like that's not going to be possible unless the gift shop is moved. I mean, the gift shop could be moved over here, I suppose. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, we got lots of fighting in the cheetah enclosure, so I'm going to start moving some cheetahs out. Who have we got then? We got Finn. We could get rid of. Uh, we got two males and two females, which actually is fine. But Finn's a stress head, so I think we're going to move Finn out of here and sell Finn. And then uh, also, which is the female here now? Is it two females, one male? It is. So we're going to select you, and we're going to put contraceptives which is something I never thought I'd hear myself say in a video but there we go uh, and Sonura as well and the reason we're doing that is so that um, we don't get any more cheaters basically because I think we have enough cheaters I don't think we need any more cheaters whatsoever uh, I'm really frustrated about this I'm gonna keep saying it I know and it's gonna be really boring but I think I mean ultimately the best solution to this problem is just to delete the ride and start again which I didn't really want to do, but it is what it is. 
It's just because I just wanted to build this slightly further away from the path here so I could build a, a gift shop, fit one in. If it lets me build it, there we go. That's all I wanted to do, guys. Nothing, nothing specific. Just wanted to build that in. Uh, we'll shorten the track piece here. Can I get this to like, come back down to ground level? Yeah, I think I just managed it there. Uh, and then, obviously... Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I haven't just built this back in the same spot, have I? I don't think I have. That, to me, feels like there's more room. But I am going to move this just in case. guess we're going to do this. I mean, that is moving it away from the path, so that should be fine. There we go. Now we're going to build it. And yeah, we're going to start off by curving to the right here. And then at this point, that is fine. Slope round like that. And then here is where it's going to start moving towards that bit there. And in fact, you saw how it fitted there, but it's not quite the right shape. So we're going to move that. And now it fits. And that should hopefully... Yeah, like it. Okay, then this bit here, uh, well, I've got the painted ground, actually, so that's perfect. I can just follow that. So we'll start off going this way, and then it curves around like this, and round like, oh, hang on, this one here needs to be sharper. There we go, and I'm going to kind of go off piste here slightly and just follow this around like that, which I don't think we did before, but we are doing now. Slight incline. Slightly bigger incline. Now, I don't know if this ride slows down going up hills. I'm going to hope it doesn't, but you never know. Slightly to the left here as well. And again, slightly to the left here. Uh, around this way. Do I need to climb higher? Do I need to have done that here? That's not what I meant to press at all. When you misclick, it's one of the most annoying things in the world. Particularly in a game like this, where it just has a little mind of its own. And it goes off and starts doing random things. There we go. And then uh, level out here. That will pop down again slightly so we're back at ground level there we are and then we'll come around this way now that zebra is not supposed to be there it's kind of annoying but it is what it is i think she's she or he he or she has just popped up on top of the um the track anyway so that's fine and yeah, we're going to follow this round like this. Why does that not work? There's a question. In that case, we're going to go like this. And then hopefully we can come round like so. And we need to find out where we're leaving. I think it's going to be over this way at the back here. So if I grab track airlock, there we go. And should be able to sort of piece it there. Should be fine. Hopefully, we can connect up to that. Yeah, kinda. Hang on. Why is it being weird? I don't know. I don't know what this thing's doing. If I come around like this. Is that going to work? No, is the simple answer. No, it is not. So that would be perfect. Track limits exceed... Yeah, but what track limits? It must be... If I come back... Obstructed. Okay, I think we're going to have to move the gate. Then, that's fine. Uh, that needs to come around this way so and then 
Oh. Please. There. Oh, no, I had it very briefly. Very briefly. There. There we go. Right, this gate needs to move. If I could put it... I mean, that wouldn't have been bad. If I can get it over here, actually, and go around the water, that would be cool. Where are we at? There? That would be cool. I bet you it won't work, but it would be cool if it did. Oh, it does! Awesome. And there you go. We're out of the enclo- That's bad. What happened here? Steel mesh. That exists, right? That is now a barrier. Yeah, good. That genuinely... I feared for my life then. I thought if something gets out... Oh, there's an incorrect sex ratio in the cheaters. Uh, this is something I never thought I'd ever hear. So what's the uh, what's the correct? Where's Zoopedia? Zoopedia. There we go. So they need one to three males and one female. And we've got the opposite, haven't we? We've got two females. And okay, so we need to get rid of a female. I think it's going to have to be Sonura, but we can release Sonura to the wild. Actually, let's get rid of... Um, let's get rid of... That sounds so harsh. But uh, Amina here. We can release her to the wild. And we get some good... Is it conservation credits? Yeah, good, good conservation credits for that. And then, because of that... We can bring Finn back. And that should be the correct ratio now of females to males. Which is awesome. Let's delete these because that's going to annoy me. Let's delete these because that's going to annoy me. Why? So, why are the other animals stressed? Are you fine now? I think you're fine now. What's wrong with Sonora? Severe welfare issues. Yeah, but what? Social. Stress. Yeah. It's not going to tell me, I don't think. It's not going to tell me. Right. Before we move on with uh, the rest of this ride, I do want to build the actual, like, exit gift shop kind of thing. So how do I create a building around this? Start building on station grid. There we go. And we want some wall pieces and we want theme to be African and I think that's about it everything else is fine so let's start off with oh I have actually missed something quite important but we'll come back to that in a second why are you not on the grid in that case let me do this bit first entrance and exit so the entrance oh would help if the entrance was the right one. Or if the station had the entrance on the right side. Come on. There we go. Right. We want entrance on the right, exit on the left. There we go. Now I want to build entrance here. Exit here. And then I want to start building on station grid. There we go. Now it works. So yeah, we'll have some archways. One here. One here. Uh, and then some wall pieces. Some lo lovely decorated wall pieces. Big fan of these. Like so and like so. And then all of this here is going to be gift shop. And then the other side is going to be queue. So actually... I don't want these here. I want these further out. And I should probably build the path first, thinking about it. So if I was to build this and bring it down to ground level. There we go. And then align to grid. So all of this here 
like I said, is going to be gift shop. I was trying to do this in Planet Coaster before, and it didn't really work out. So I'm going to give it another crack here. Aha. And hopefully this time it does work out. Now, obviously, we've got to get pathways in and out here without it being too derpy. I think that will be fine. And that. And then hopefully, yeah, that one connects. And this one, I think, should actually be moved over slightly. That one connects. There we go. Uh, and then for the queue. Now, there's a question. Where do I want the queue to start? The queue could start here and then run around that way. But I kind of wanted it to go up and over the, um, the station, which we could still do. I, let me do some terraforming again because otherwise it's not going to work. We don't need it to be that big. It could just be like this. There we go. Just for now. While we get this built. So paths. Q. There's the natural one but I don't want that. You could do wooden for this. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, oh, so I want that to be a little bit wider. Is three the width? Three's the width by the looks of things. So let's come up like this. Actually, let's not come up like this. Let's come up. Whoops. Hang on, start again. Start again, start again, start again. So we can come up like this. Round like this. Up like this. Round like so. Now, is that high enough? Not quite. Uh, in that case, can I go up one more? Yes, and that is now high enough, but the angle's all wrong. Sorry about that little jump cut, guys. My missus came home, and uh, I had to say hi to her quickly, and she didn't know I had my camera on. So, <laughs> yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Also, this path system is still an absolute nightmare. It really is. Okay, let's let's keep like this for a bit. We'll come out like this. Round like this. Uh, and then I think we'll come this way again. Actually here will be where we start going up. How about that? Oops, snowing again. We'll go one, two, three. Level off. And now we can go round like this. I love how you can see like the snow's disappearing where the uh, pathway is. That's really cool. It's a neat feature. Let's uh, sort this bit out as well. Like so. We'll push this bit back. So, and now we can continue. And then I've got to build this straight. There we go. And then keep coming down until we hit ground, which we have now, I think. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, from here we can just go along. Again, it'd be cool if this was like flat, flat. Which we can make it flat, flat, but still. I uh, did not mean to do that. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do flattened foundation. Bump that up. There we go. Now we can smooth all this out. Like this. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Now I don't know how popular rides are in this game. So this this might be more than enough of a queue, to be honest, but even so. You've got low welfare. Why have you got low welfare? Your habitat. You've got environmental issues. Wait, do you not have 
Oh. Oh. Do you need grass? Oh, it's because it's snowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need more shelter. So we'll sort that out in just one second. We will come back and we will sort that out. But right now, I want to prioritize getting this queue done. Like I said, this is probably more than enough queue for this ride. But still. I've, this is something I wanted to do in Planet Coaster and I was never able to achieve it. So I really want to get it right here. If I can. And basically just to say that I could do it. Because it really bothered me. Some of the queues I built in um, Planet Coaster really bothered me. So yeah, it's going to kind of come around like this. And I think where that solar panel is, I would like to have... Or even like here would be perfect as a queue entrance. So if I could come out like this. Now will that let me go over the top? No. Obstructed. Oh yeah, no, that's really low, isn't it? That is really low. Uh, let me fix that. Stop curving. Right, hang on. I'll fix that as well. Turn off curved slopes. And also turn off. For this, I think I want angle snap on. There we go. And then from here, I want to start going round like this. And actually, this is also where having um, angle snap on, but we'll make it 22 and a half or 15. 15 is good. And we'll turn on curved slopes again. Hoping that by doing this I can get it to connect up. Ah, oh, not quite. Ah, it's really close though. Maybe if I ease off a little bit like this. Okay, this might work. Like that. There we go. And now it wants to connect. Bravo. Okay. Q. Tick. Now, I've got to... Uh, whoops. You do. I've got to actually do the exit building. But, before I do that, my scroll wheel is terrible. Just for the record. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is going over right now, but it's going over something. Something will go there, I'm sure. <coughs> Habitat. I want to build another couple of these to keep our beautiful animals happy. So I think there's a gate over here somewhere that I don't quite want to impede. It's really hard to see what I'm doing right now. The game's quite dark. But I think... Oh yeah, I've built it right in front of the gate. That's not necessarily a bad thing though, so long as the zookeeper can get in behind. If I build you like here. Uh, obviously not floating in the air. Like this. That's not terrible. <laughs> Just climbing out there. Don't mind him. Um, and then I want some... Straw beds. Can you not lay these flat? Like, to the ground. Oh, okay. I see how they work. Alright, we'll have one of them. And then, uh, one of them. And hopefully, that's more... Oh my goodness, what on earth? What's happened here? Oh, are you breeding again? Oh my god. Okay, I need to turn off. What's your um, preferred group size? One to eight. Yeah, okay. So we need like... <clears throat> let's max it out and say eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from 
here downwards. All of these. Let's pause for a sec while I do this. Can you give contraceptives to a beetle? I don't even know how you'd go about doing that. But we're going to try. <clears throat> it's like it's like Dexter's laboratory. Some weird experiment going on here. It's trying to stop beetles breeding, you know. We'll find a way. We'll find a solution. Right, all of you guys to the trade center. And then these females. Yeah, you can do it. Awesome. So you've been done. Yep, I love the fact you can see the symbol next to it as well. Actually, can I do it from here? No. Uh, you've been done now. Good stuff. And then, um, again, it'd be cool if I could do it like multi select. Maybe I can? Nope. So, is that? It was Alil? Alil? Alile? I don't really know how you pronounce that. Aluna. Oh, I will check one thing as well in the interest of balance. You can actually do it to males as well. Okay. <clears throat> I think for now, I will just do the females. And that will probably cause some uproar. But um, at least then half, half of them are... Oops. Hit my glasses. Fixed. And then we can worry about the rest another time. H hopefully that fixes the problem that we're having. Fingers crossed. In the meantime, let's go back to building this building. So, we want an archway uh, at the bottom of this ramp. There, like that. Now, I think that's kind of about where I want it, actually, that wall, which is good. As for... Um, Why is that different? Oh, it sticks out slightly at the bottom. Okay. In that case, I think I want the arch. Oh, no, because it... Ma oh, it's That's kind of irritating. It might not be the end of the world. But it's irritating. Uh, and also here. Flip you round. Do you not fit there? Oh, again. Hang on. There might be a setting for this. <clears throat> Settings. Game. Disable scenery collision. Yeah. There we go. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Frog in the throat. This is like the third or fourth video I've edited today. So you'll have to excuse me. If my... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. If my voice does start to go a little bit towards the end. Um, it's been a hard day. Just getting as many videos recorded as possible. Um, I'm away next week. So I can still upload, but I can't record because I'm not at my desk. So it's just making sure that I've got as much footage as possible. But I can put it all together while I'm away. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, it's going to have to go here then. And I mean, that fits. And this kind of fits. And then there's going to be the entrance way for that bit anyway. And then here. Um, we're going to wall this bit in. Like so. This queue path here at the bottom. I might try and get that to fill that space as well. And then uh, we need some arches here as well. For the track to go through like that and then uh, you here like so and then this piece like that there we go now these stack obviously so that's awesome are there any window pieces there's that window piece ah there you go mud shop oh hang on though this is the gift shop isn't it so i do kind of need it like this still now, this section here, we could probably put some windows in this bit. Like that. And then, uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this piece. Like so. 
and for now at least we'll go like this although actually do you know what we'll go like this so I think this will be a good spot for like a cash register if that's how it works merchandise uh, so that's, that's fantastic just a memento loony balloons isn't there a um how does it work oh I thought it was gonna be like this I guess not no okay yeah that's food okay so we want to put I mean hats fantastic could go here Is that connected? No. It's too high for a start. Uh, hello. Grid height. We need to reduce that. There we go. Now that fits. Awesome. Could we fit one next to it as well? Or just a memento, say? Actually, why don't we put two of the same? Which might sound stupid, but I think that'll work. And then on this side, we'll have uh, just a memento times two. Oh, please work. Please connect. You utter game. Right, that one works. This one doesn't. Alright, we'll see if I can get the balloons over here. That's really annoying. It might still work, but it's really annoying. Uh, path, rustic. Hmm. Yeah, that's really annoying. Okay. We'll remove that one. We'll put some wall pieces in here then just to hide that. Either that or we make it like access to a toilet or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's that. Uh, oh, they're open. That's cool. Are these two not open over here? Apparently not. We will also fill in this gap. However I did it. There we go. There we go. All the way around. How did I... Come on. There you go. And then spin you round. One there. One there. And one there. And then that piece just fits the gap there anyway. One there. One there. There. Spin. There. 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 And there. This bit, technically, it won't ever be visible, but if you're on the ride, obviously you will be able to see whether or not it's connected. So just for completion's sake, I will get that bit done as well. Also, that is in the wrong place. There we go. Better. Um, yeah. It's looking all right, this. I'm just debating how to have this roof. Oh, yeah. One other thing. There we go. And then we need to put the walls around this bit as well. So I don't know what we're doing with these arches either. Because they're uh, like off the ground. Is that connected? Must be. I think it's just because it makes a box. So the rest of it looks a bit weird. I think that's what's happened there. Uh, that's not what meant to happen there, though. I don't even know if I need to do the back wall. I don't think I'm going to bother. This section here, though, I will. Because you can see that one. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I want to fill... So, this piece here. If I do a line to grid... some decoration in there just to make that look nice and 
Okie dokie. Uh, and now I need to try and decide what to do with all this blank space. So first of all, I think I'm going to have logs on the top floor. Above all of this stuff. Obviously we've got paths sticking through here. So I could go and make like a balcony. Maybe. I don't know. This bit here, that feels fine. So we'll go along and do this bit. Including this section. But then all of this. So this bit's also easy. It's just a case of, you know, fill it all up. Get that step there. That bit there. There, there. There. Spin. There, there, and there. I've got to put the archways in. Down here again. Which again is kind of annoying because we've got these gaps. Um, but I suppose it is what it is. It looks very decorative, very nice, very pretty. It's just a shame. I could I suppose I could grab the whole building and just move it down one once this is complete. But yeah, this section here. I suppose what I could do. Did I really just do that? I, I seriously just selected the building to try and get to the path. I don't even know where that's come from. Um, oh, oh. Dangerous animal has escaped. Who got out? Oh, Jesus. How on earth has that happened? Uh, how do I deal with this then? Oh, are you dealing with it? Okay, I think you're dealing with it. And the ostrich has got out. Where's the mechanic, for Christ's sake? Get that fixed. Someone capture the ostrich as well, please. What on earth? Do I need more? I think I need more mechanics. That's what I'm seeing from here. Because there is quite a lot of barrier to, to try and fix right now. Yeah, five mechanics. Maybe that's fine. Animals keep getting out, though, which is not good. I also realise I haven't got my headset on. There we go. Yeah, let's get these captured as well. Okay, I think... I think that's as far as all the escapees go, but that's not going to do well for our um, zoo reputation. That's going to do a really bad job for our zoo reputation. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. Uh, get rid of. Let's complete this building. We'll put an arch here, and we'll put an arch. I think I see the problem. It's like right in the middle of two bits, and it's kind of the same issue here, which is not ideal. I don't really know what to do with this side. Because it fits. Like everything else fits really nicely. Uh, that's the wrong bit. It's just this piece. I could just go ahead and do this. Like that. I... Mm, maybe. Let's see what I can do with this. Can I change the width? No, I can't. Can I do that before I select the grid, though? No, I can't. Okay. I mean, this this fits, at least. And then... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not the worst looking thing in the world, is it? Let's be honest. Okay. Okay. I think I might just stick with... Oh, it's not the wrong one again, Mark. I think I might just stick with this for now. Animal welfare has attracted protesters. Yeah, that's that's something that's going to keep happening, isn't it? Um, also, this is... It really annoys me, actually, that the paths don't fit the grids properly. Because this is a really good-sized building. 
Like, that should fit no problem. But there is a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I like this building. It's fine. It's fine shape for a building. Uh, do we have flat floor that we could potentially put in? Now, is that a good height? That's a question. I think. If I make it go one lower. And then do the same with this one. Where's duplicate? There's duplicate. Do the same thing here. And then hold control. No. Just to fill these grassy bits. Nope, that's... Actually, that might be the right height. That might be the right height. Uh, this piece here, yeah. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to hold shift then. It's annoying. This is the right height as well. And then this bit where the queue line is, I suppose we could fill it. Again, holding control just doesn't do anything. It's really frustrating. So again, the music in this game is just so good. I really like this track. Pang Pangolin Adventures or something I think it's called. Which is, it's basically sampling the main theme. Which a few of them do. There's a lot of callbacks to the main theme. But they've done it in such a good way. It never feels like they're doing the same thing twice. Alright, let's put that there. And again, if I hold control. Holding control is supposed to lock it to the height that it's already on. And I assumed that meant even if there's like auto stack and stuff like that. But yeah. I just saw a thing that said an animal's been in its box for too long. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I can't do that piece either. That's fine. If I just do the outer borders, there we go. Now I should be able to come in and do these bits, which for the most part have already been done. Again, it's it's a bit weird how some of the logs poke through, but it is what it is, and I'm just going to stick with it for now because I can't bother to change it. The station platform is fine as is. So now it's about decoration, scenery, theming, things like that. What have we got? Awnings and facades. Is there anything we can put? Uh, I want to say yes. There you go, shop front. Now these aren't actually going to work very well, are they? Because they need to be... Um, are there any, like, patternless ones? We could just go with the logs, actually, here. One there. One... Helps you put them in the right spot. One there. One there. And then we'll put some walls across this piece. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Why are these different heights? Oh, that one's too low. Just a smidge too low. There we go. Now I should be able to put these pieces in. And then I think... Is that really the wrong height? I'm just going to do it like this then. It's going to look ugly as hell, but what can you do? Uh, and then this is fine. That fits. Okay. Uh, these ones here need to be opened. Oh, no power. Okay, well that's the story of this whole thing. So that's fine. We can fix that in a second. Again, we'll go back to roofs quickly. And I'll just put uh, 
a really bad log roof on top of this. That's fine. No one's going to see that. And even if they do, it fits the building. So it's fine. I think I'm going to roof this off at a later date. Because I think right now I still want to be able to put... Oh, we got wall decorations. Ah, see, now this is what I think Planet Coaster was missing. I can hear the protesters going along. Yeah, I know, I know. I've done a bad job looking after these animals. Uh, a lion. Oh, look at that. Thing is, the lions aren't over here. The lions are further back. So what else have we got? Ah, the rhino head. That can definitely go here. Again, trying to see where I'm actually placing. Is it L? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Uh, elephants. Again, we don't have elephants in this bit. Go with a painted shield. Here. And then maybe um, some decorative masks either side of the rhino head. What else have we got? So these are shutters. Okay. It's so another rhino head. Oh, the inspector's arrived. I think we're going to get closed down in a minute, guys. We're having a horrendous time looking after our animals right now. I'll be the first to admit that, in all honesty. Let's put some bamboo there. We can put some more bamboo here. And then, uh, I mean, what have we got? for? Where can we put these? Kind of put one there. And one... Uh, here. And then some decorative trim, maybe? Like above the windows? Nope, that's... Do it this way. Duplicate advanced move. And then. Again, that's annoying. If I could fit. Ah, oh, not quite. It's the random rotation thing that's screwing with me right now, but that's fine. This has got quite a lot of theming in here. I'm happy with this. I do want some lighting. What does that come under? Is lighting a thing in this game? Construction? Lights. There we go. So we actually need these like everywhere. Some wall lights. Uh, yeah. One there. No, I need to turn off random rotation right now because that's messing with my head uh, duplicate advanced move we want one this side of the rhino oh god one of my beetles has died now please tell me that was natural causes please god I hope that was natural causes otherwise I am so screwed oh again no power so it doesn't turn that's both clever and incredibly irritating. Uh, one there and one there. Oh, these need storefronts as well. Let's get those. What is it? This, 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 and this. And I want to duplicate selection. There we are. Cool. Happy with that. Nice. Right. Anything else? Floor lights, hanging lights. These are all just lights. Centerpieces. African sculpture. Oh, that's nice. I kind of want to just fill the floor with these and make it look like it's decorated, you know? So put one there. In the middle of all this stuff. Uh, hanging baskets. So when we put a ceiling in, that'll be perfect. 
That's a lion. A giraffe sculpture, though. Giraffe calf. Put that there. And we'll put the giraffe on the other side. There we go. Now, where were those donation boxes? I'm pretty sure we're not going to get any donations right now, but... I'll come back to the animal welfare in a second. Because that is important. Uh, guest facilities. Guest facilities. Donation boxes. So I want one there. One there. An ATM in the corner, maybe. Like that, so people can actually buy stuff. Okay. This is coming together. I'm pretty happy with this. But we've got some serious issues right now. Just memento. There's loads of them without power. That's fine. Animal welfare. It's been in box for too long. Oh, have you not been... You went unboxed. What the hell? What are you doing to me, game? Uh, we got a 500... What's that? Dollar spot fine. Can I change the currency? That's another question. Doesn't look like it. Unless it comes under interface. No. See, I find that kind of annoying that you can't change... Even if it's just changing the symbol. I'm not asking for like a full currency exchange or anything. I literally just want to change the symbol. It's, it is what it is though. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Right, I need more power. Uh, I need like a, another solar panel maybe, or a transformer. Because we've got some solar panels here. But we need to actually connect them up. Also, why does this exist here? Oh, I know why that existed here. Yeah, yeah, no, I need to leave that where it is. Because it powers this stuff. Um, So we need to find a way... I suppose what I could do, grab you, uh, you, actually, we'll get a transformer for this one. Uh, I need to go facilities, utilities, transformer. I should be able to squeeze one, yeah, down here. We'll spin it round, like that. That should function. Uh, and it should now have powered. Yeah, good. And then we can put a little staff path here. There we go. And now mechanics can actually reach it. Still got low. What is going on? Social. So what? What is? What is the problem right now? Too few adults and juveniles in animal social group. Okay, well, you can fix that by breeding. Just start breeding. Either that or I will go and get some more uh, African buffalo. Maybe that one. That might be better. So we got diseased animals and... Oh, man. This is stressful. This is actually stressful. Can I not search for... Uh there you go. Buffalo. African buffalo. Maybe one of each. One female. One male. Sure. Open animal storage. Select both. Send to zoo. We want them both in here. It's not going to fix it perfectly still, but it should make it better at least. Alright. What else can I do? So the gift shop is now open. We we should be making money off this. We are. Look. People are buying hats. People are buying funny hats, but they're buying hats. Can I choose what hats you sell? Oh, you're not the hat one. You're just a memento. Oh, people have already bought hats and now they're buying. So the hats are over here, are they not? Yes. So, rhinos, lions, wild dogs, and spiders. I'm going to turn off these two. 
same here. And then over here, so we've got adoption packs. That's awesome. Picture books, cuddly toy. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, we'll leave those on then. We should be selling loads of stuff. How are we doing, like, if we did have money? How are we doing? Bad. <laughs> so it's a good thing we haven't got money. It's a very good thing we haven't got money. Where are, the, uh, are you going? But you're going to examine that. Okay, so yeah, the ride is, is coming along. New animals have arrived. Good stuff. That now connects up over there. There's an ostrich about to mature. Fine. Um, so next up over here, what else could we put in? There's a question. Where's the Zoopedia? So it doesn't actually have to be um, grassland now. If I turn that off. Uh, what else have we got? Temperate? For Africa, yes. Desert? So we could start putting in desert stuff. Now we've got the cheetahs already. But we could have things like the elephants. Now do you have other... No. So we could just go straight into the elephants next. Or we could go through the wild dogs. Although that's a bit dangerous. Because these are carnivores. Um, Fennec fox. What about Gemsbok? Do you live with anything? No. Springbok. Oh, the Springboks go with the... Yeah, the other stuff. So, I think... I think maybe the Gemsbok. I don't know if it's a good idea to put elephants... Like, to go through the elephants... I think we could do Gemsbok next. Now this here looks to me like another part where the path needs to go up and over the uh, the ride track. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We could just curve the path around. Um, which I think I'm going to do now so I don't forget. What width are you? You're 8, aren't you? Yeah. So we're going to turn off the angle snap, and then you're just going to come around like this. Like so. And then uh, barriers. Oh, what level are you? There's a question as well. So we're putting in Gemsbok, aren't we? So you need grade 2 and at least 1.25 meters. Okay. And 5 to 10 of each thing and you need 270 squares so let's say 10 you need 630 meters squared that's easy no worries what have we got that's grade 2 wood logs that's a good one uh, I need to build a new one let's come out of that so here it's 2 meters tall that's a-okay Build it along like this, and then at this point we will connect it in like so. And then here we'll keep coming along, and then at this point we're gonna curve upwards. And then all of this here is gonna be Gemsbok. I think this is the right size. It seems pretty big. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. So if I was to now select this, how big are you? Uh, are you not considered an enclosure? How do I make a new enclosure? I actually don't know. Maybe there needs to be a gap. No, 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 no. I think there might need to be a gap. So we'll put a gap in. That's fine. Might be a bit weird here with the ride track coming through, but that's fine as well. go and we'll get rid of this piece. Awesome. Now this should be an enclosure. No. Am I missing? Oh, hang on. Doesn't it need um, like a gate or something to be considered an enclosure? 
I was to put a habitat gate in. Let's do the uh, well, guest gate. You can actually have them walk in with. Huh. Let's go with the wooden track airlock first. And then if I put a wooden habitat gate like here. That's the wrong side, actually. Let's take that back. There we go. Uh, likewise, I think the habitat, the uh, track gate's on the wrong side as well. Which might explain a lot. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, it's a habitat now, so that's fine. Is that two meters tall? That looks really low. Uh, this bit here at the front, I think, needs to be something like glass. There we go. And now, if I select all of this, um, we'll do that. That's fine. And then I want one-way glass, hopefully the right way. And then I also want it to be... Oh, man. I don't know which way around this is. Like, I genuinely don't know what way that is. Oh, also, that's got... Oh, that's so cool. Hang on. Right, let's try this again. So if I select all of this, we'll turn it back into wood. But I will put glass in. There you go. That's awesome. And then curved barrier top. I think that should apply to all of it, actually, not just this bit. Uh, the window top height, that's fine. Level window top and bottom. Okay. I think... I think this is pretty decent, if I do say so myself. We'll get a little staff path in here as well, of course, so that... Um, not that wide, we won't. So that animals can be dropped off. There we go. And then, right, let's check Zoopedia again. For the Gemsbok. Now, you live in the desert. So, I'm pretty sure you just want, like, sand and stuff like that. And you want... It needs to be 630 meters squared. This one is... way big enough like just all the big enough awesome um, and I think I will have a path that comes around here it might have to go up and over the track sure but this area here we need to open up so we will do that um, I am also going to quickly see if I can link this up if it lets me is it really not going to let me oh you have no idea how frustrating that is it could well be because this is not in the right spot. So there is something here, supposedly, but there you go. We'll do this again. Whoops. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I think for the barrier, the gate, I'm going to put it in... Like, here's fine. That's the annoying thing. Here's a good spot for it, like there, so long as that lines up, obviously, which I think it does. Just for some reason now, that doesn't want to work. Like, it's the track piece is too long. So, can you move a habitat? <laughs> There's a question. You can't, annoyingly. I, I had a feeling that would be wishful thinking. Can you delete a habitat? Don't think you can. It's also annoying. Maybe if I just delete like this and then select everything and just hit delete. There you go. 
So I need to build this in such a way... That when I put the, um... <clears throat> so I think actually this can still work. As an enclosure. It's just because I didn't put the gate in that it didn't turn it into one. So actually, I don't need to do this then, do I? I do not. I just need to build... Uh, let's go from here again. We'll come around this way. Build it along like this. We'll come like this, and then we'll come up this way. Around like this. And then, there you go. In it goes. And then we'll keep going this side. So we'll come around like this. Like so. And we'll just keep coming around. Now the habitat, I think, we'll put around this back bit here. Like keep it hidden out of the way kind of thing. Can I connect to you like that? Yes, I can. Good stuff. Right. Habitat gate. You're going to go here. So you're hidden. And now, hopefully... Yeah. We're a habitat. Good stuff. So the gate is in the right spot, basically. Which is fantastic. Now, as for the ride track... Uh, actually, before I do that, I do want to put the exit... To this, which is going to be over here. Like there, I think. That's fine. Um, but to get there, <clears throat> I'm going to shorten the track piece like this, and then, yeah, we're going to kind of go around the long way. Ooh, why did you do that? Oh, don't do this to me again. Come on. Rain modification failed. Intersecting terrain. Are you for real right now, game? <clears throat> That's actually incredibly annoying. There must be a way of doing this. Like if I did this. Are you going to connect now. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Okay, again, there's good things about this game, and there are annoying things about this game, and this is definitely the latter. Oh, for God's sake. Intersecting terrain. Well, stop it. Make it stop. If I did this, now are you going to connect? No, because you're too close. Aye. This is annoying. Anyone who's played the game is probably telling me this already, but this is annoying. I've got a feeling that I'll have to rebuild this entire barrier to make this work now. You son of a gun. Hey, right, okay, we're connected. Fine, 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 fine. Um, now, I think this bit, it might run outside of an enclosure, maybe, or... I mean, what else have we got? Hang on. If I check Zoopedia again. What else have we got? Tropical in Africa, yeah? Is this tortoises? Oh, there's lemurs. Bonobos. Mandrills. Potentially. I mean, some of these, I think... Hang on. Some of these, I think, are exhibit animals. So we'll ignore those. I mean, I don't really want to go through... I mean, we could go through Akarpis and Nyala. Nyala. Maybe the Akarpis next. Possibly. Or Bongos. Or Aardvarks. 
You can live with meerkats. So I'm kind of tempted to throw the meerkats and the aardvarks in together. There's a possibility. But I don't want this ride to go through that. So I think this area here will be outside of the... Um, like the, the, the track here won't go through any exhibits. Or maybe it will and we just haven't built it yet. Something like that. And I think the path can come up and over here. Because we still need to loop this round. Do we climb it up through here? I don't think we do. I wouldn't mind if uh, this end. Oh, now why are you not letting me build that? Come on, game. Is it auto tunnel? No. Something's wrong here. Something is wrong here. Think, is it the path above? Maybe. I don't know why it would be. Let's just uh, go through the options again. Game. Disable track collision. I think that is what I need to do right now. I also need to stop the camera from doing that. Because that's annoying. Uh, so yeah, back over here. Yeah, so I can come out now. That's fine. But I think in doing this, what I have done is turned off terrain collision too. Yeah, which is not fine. Because now that's not working. But this one is working. So I think this is going to be a tunnel. Again, that's not working. Why are you so selective right now? Let's turn this back off. You tried it again, didn't you? You tried it again. Okay. If I delete this piece and turn on auto tunnel. I don't know what's going on here. Obviously, I need this on for this to work. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But I have just realised I can build more than one station on this ride. So maybe if we have a second station over at the back end of Africa over here and then from this end have it come back round. And I wanted a tunnel that ran under this part and then we can have like a path that goes up and then have another enclosure up here. Maybe the lions on top and we could call that Pride Rock. It's not a bad idea. If I can make it work. Let's uh, sort this terrain out as well. we'll. Pull this bit out. We'll push this bit in. What the hell is this doing? Again, it's... it's it's just little things like that sometimes that put me off both this game and Planet Coaster. The fact that it's doing such weird things. Like, it's just random terrain floating in the air. That's not normal. It's not normal at all. Okay. Uh, we want this at three. There we are. I'll just build this back in. Is it going to slope downwards there? Yes, it is. That's fine. I can fix that by having it come this way. There you go. And again, we'll put like trees and stuff around this park because it's obviously not inhabited. So we can have some fun with it. We'll uh, pull this bit up. There you go. And same with this bit. There you go. Smooth this little section out. Push this down like so. OK. 
Okay. Smooth this bit over as well. There. Okay. I'll have one last crack at getting this working. It's already looking like it's not going to happen. But this bit is, which I think is really weird. Oh, and now it's not. So what is it that's stopping this from working? Maybe it's the path above. If I came through and uh, removed that path. If I do that. Again, just stop the... Uh, it tried it again. You saw that there. Turn that off. It's still not letting me do it. Is it the scenery? I think... Ah, oh, I think it's the arch. I think it's the arch. You notice how it doesn't line up like it does. Oh, this one doesn't either, though. Let's try removing them now. And see if that does it. Again, I've got to just keep moving this way. It was the arch. How weird. Now I can turn on auto tunnel. No, I can't turn on auto tunnel. Got to go right back here with auto tunnel to make it work. What is this game doing to me? It's not working. This is insane. This is actually insane as to why it's not working right now. What is it doing? Look, I've got auto tunnel on, right? Oh, now it doesn't want to work. So I have to have it off. And then if I try and turn it on here, it doesn't want to work anymore. I just don't know what to say about that, actually. I do not know what to say. Can I close this as well? Because that's annoying me. This whole thing's annoying me now. Don't get me wrong. I still love this game. I'm enjoying playing this game. But it's just, it's little things like that sometimes where I'm just like, why, why is that doing that? That's very frustrating. Still, at least we've, uh... There we go. Now we've got that back in the right place. Um, we've still got the option of just turning off track collision and manually sculpting it, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Shall we get this enclosure sorted out? I think we should. I also kind of want to straighten up this barrier slightly on this side because it looks a bit stupid. So let's take all this back. There we go. And I want uh, wood logs from here. Are we not paused? I thought we were paused. That would explain why I keep getting messages. Oops, that's the wrong place. Yeah, I want to try and get these... Uh, was it a carpy? What was I bringing in here? Oh, no, it was the... Oh, yeah, yeah. I do know what it was. It's fine. Um, it is the... Uh, Gemsbok is what we're bringing in here. Which is kind of still the plains. The plains really is this area. And I think I did go call it, yeah, the African plains. This is the Gemsbok area. So we're going to name this Gemsbok. There we go. Now I think we need to get a Gemsbok before we can work out what they do and don't like. So let's go over to the trade center. And I want a Gemsbok. There we go. So we'll have one female, one male. As always. There we go. And then open storage. On both of these guys. In here. And now we'll find out. Oh, we are paused. Yeah, we are paused. I don't know why that's coming up with messages then. Uh, 
new animal, that's fine. Well, was, the warning's here now. Just protesters. Okay. So yeah, these animals are going to get brought over now. And then we'll be able to find out what they want. So the enclosure's big enough. I'll tell you that much. Here they are. Okay. Can I select one, please? There we go. So you've got no enrichment. That's fine. Uh, you need shelter. You need sand. Everything else, though, is pretty okay. Long grass. You need more short grass, and you need more sand. So let's sort that out. Coarse sand? I think we could go with coarse sand. There you are, look. They're a lot happier now. Perfect. This one's absolutely legging it round, having a great time. There's two buffalo fighting for alpha status as well. That's not ideal, but it is what it is. Let's just paint the sand around the edge here. Right up to the edge here. And then if I small my brush... Should really get all of this bit in here. There we go. My zookeeper's just standing there. I don't know what they're doing either. The inspector's coming back soon. So we need to get rid of the protesters. Is that something you can do legally? Like you just kick them out or... Let's get that to follow a track. Right, we'll have a little bit of short grass along this frontage area. And then we'll just pop some others down over there like that. So environment, you could have some coverage. We will look at getting some trees. Um, but otherwise, you're pretty okay. You just need enrichment, which is what we're working on. Oh, are you in diseased? Oh, okay. That's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Species. Let's find the Gemsbok. Gemsbok. There we are. And we could get just a basic shelter for this. Because it's hidden around the corner here anyway. So, what have we got? No. We could go with a new world shelter. I mean, it's a bit big. It's also a bit obvious. Planet Zoo Shelter. Or we could just go with the African themed again. We could go with this one. It's fine. Place you down. Uh, actually, we'll just have the one for now. That's fine. Bedding. That's pretty easy. Takes care of itself. Now, heaters, that is something we will need to worry about. But for now, let's get the food trough in. Kind of want one down here in front of the viewing area. These guys need basically the same things uh, as the other animals. They just need to be their own, be in their own space. I'm going to use these as a way to sort of add shrubbery. Small barrel feeder. Stick one of those. And a rubbing pillar. Hanging grazer. Grab ball? Is that, is that meant to stick to something? Yeah. So we'll just put that over here, I think. Okay. It, it stopped grabbing. Strange. I don't, whatever. We'll put some of these scent things around the track here. I was debating extending the track like round this tree and back. But maybe we'll just leave it as is. I kind of want to extend it now I've said it. I'm sure I'm going to get problems again with... Um, 
collision. I'm going to try and go like this. If I can get it like up to the... Like this, and then round this way. And then round like this. So we'll come round the tree. This stuff that's in the way, we'll move it in a sec. It's no worries. If I did that now. There you go. Perfect. So this little thing. We'll move that over here. And then there was one of the... There it is. Ah, I can't reach it. Hang on. I might be able to do it by... This. And then deselect you. There we are. And then hit move. See, again, little things like that that makes you think, oh, this game has got itself together. And then there's little things where you just think, what the hell is this? Okay. Gems box are in. Edit barrier. This section here is going to become windowed. I'll just put glass in. In fact, that could extend up to like here. Uh, put glass in. There you go. So people can now actually see them. And then here the path's going to come round and it's going to go up. And then that's where it goes up and over. I think it'll come over in this direction actually. And then we can put some other enclosures around. Like so. Um, for that to work though. I think the main path is actually going to continue round. Uh, so let's have it follow this for a second. And then here it's going to curve this way. I swear I just heard a rooster. We don't have roosters, do we? I just heard a rooster again. And again. Do we have, is there roosters in this game? There you go. Now, if I push this down, that should be bridgeable. Like so. And then we want to flatten to surface. Actually, first of all, we want to flatten to foundation. This size. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. I think that's about the same height, which is awesome. And then we want to flatten to surface. And we want to grab this slope here, do we? Or maybe more like this. And have it come down. Mm. I think we actually want it sloped a bit more. Maybe like that. Got a buffalo that's about to mate. Fair enough. Wasn't aware that was something I had to be uh, aware of, but there we go. <clears throat> that was a really bad pun. Didn't even mean to make it. That's the worst part of that. Right. I think that's one side kind of done. And then this side, we'll just do it like this. Okay. Let's see if I can get a path in here. too uneven for placement, really. Okay, hang on. Let me tidy this up. Because that would be an issue for sure. What are you talking about? You're not uneven. You're not that bad, surely. This side works. Okay, this side doesn't work. And also that, that connection is ugly as hell. So, hmm. Kind of want it like this. And then push this middle bit down. Might get rid of it. 
and then smooth it either side. So now we know these are the same height. Should be as simple as Apparently not as simple as that. Okay. I mean, that still looks awful, doesn't it? Not going to lie. That looks absolutely terrible. We could just have this as a land arch, I suppose. Build it like this. And then just have a path going across. Sodding game. Oh... We're about to lose another cheetah. This this could be how we end the stream, guys, with the second cheetah. Oh, Finn, no. Okay, that was that was rough. I'm not gonna lie, that was rough. You never want to see. You never want to see your animals dying. a zookeeper dealing with it? Yeah. I was say, did you just suck it up? But no, you're dealing with something else. Uh, we can cancel that. Oh, Finn. Where do I see this? Uh, oh, God. Memorials. There we go. And we will favourite Finn as well. We will get Finn set up with a memorial soon. I'm going to build a dedicated memorial area in the zoo. Uh, I'm just not going to worry about that right this second. But we will come back to that. What does the uh, chisel do? Seems to like indent it, which I don't really want it to do. Okay. If I chisel this bit, Okay, that might be what I was looking for. And then if we smooth this. I hate, I mean, I, I could just build it as a bridge. I could just build it as a bridge and then find a way to, to theme it. That's, that's possible as well. <clears throat> might just do that. Where's the track? We'll just, yeah, we'll build it as a bridge and we'll theme it. This little area here, where it comes through, like this bit where it dips down, that's where we're going to build our bridge. Okay. Keep smoothing all this down. I don't want a flat zoo, that's the thing. I want a dynamic zoo with lots of different gradients and slopes and things like that, but it's such a pain in the ass to try and get it to actually work. I think this way, and then we're going to bring this round, and then here it's going to diverge with part of it going this way, Ooh, connecting like that, and then another part coming this way, and connecting like that, there we go, and then this section here is going to be sloped. I've got to choose a height first. So that it actually goes up and over. There we go. Cool. That's that side. I tried to make it a bit dynamic as here as well. And even this side, like... Yeah. And then this side we can have it slope down and round. There. And then yeah, we'll put some theming on it, we'll put some barriers, things like that, make it look nice. Make it look pretty. So I think another enclosure in this area. So let me shorten this track again, because otherwise it's not gonna fit and it's gonna do my head in. Because of that, I can now come through here and flatten this again good stuff uh, and I think we'll put a barrier 
here. This might be the... I mean, we could have it go through the elephants, I suppose. I think we'll do that. Um, but yeah. I think for now, though, guys, we're going to wrap things up here. Barriers are slightly damaged. Call mechanic, please. Is there a way to set that up? Maintenance. There you go. Mechanic every month. Actually, maybe every six months. Okay, protester, protesters have arrived. Who's not well? The buffalo. It's the cheetahs that are the problem still. Why are you stressed? Is it because you've got nowhere to hide? Oh, you've got too much coverage. That's your problem. Okay, what about now? Okay, you're happy now. Your terrain's fine. So maybe you'll cheer up now? The water buffaloes are also in a bad way. Man, this is rough. This is really rough, this game. It's really challenging. In a good way, I suppose, but really challenging. But uh, our zoo is taking shape and is starting to look quite nice. And that is kind of the main thing for me right now. Um, this safari ride is going to look freaking awesome when it's complete. I could put a little awning on the front of this building just to really finish it off. Where was that? That was under... So if I come back to this a second. So there's loads of really cool like signs and things that we can put out the front. Centerpieces, art shapes, no. Special effects. Oh, see, so you can put water and stuff. Props, flags, no. Theme props, maybe. Fences, yes. General props. Okay. Actually, that would be good to put on the wall. Are these the same size wheels? It's actually hard to tell. They kind of are. I was playing music as well. Uh, and then we got signs. So we'll put a sign on the front for sure. Let's for now though have a look at an awning. I kind of want one that can go right across the front of the building. Someone's happy. I kind of want one like this. But then I want to shift it into place. Let's bring it down. There we go. And then I want to duplicate an advanced move. We've got a lot of diseased animals as well. I'm kind of concerned about that actually. Why do we have so many diseased animals? So, I think this... Yeah, perfect. And we should be able to fit another one in. Like this. There we go. Right, where are the signs? Is there anything else we could put in? So, there's wall decorations again. Or there's... Um, there's doors and windows, actually. That's kind of cool. If we wanted to put some decoration in like this. Huh. Uh, so yeah, sign. And we want something like this. And then maybe a little one on this side. Or just an animal side. No, I'll just put a little one on this side. There we go. So select this. And... Just this one. There we go. And we want to call this... I'm going to call it the Safari Outpost for now. Uh, I have no idea what text to use. That, I suppose. This one, we'll just call it the Outpost. Which you can't really read. There you go. And we'll put, like, I don't know, yellow border, maybe. Uh, and again, we'll go with the same font just for now. Okay. Delete, deselect that. Incorrect sex ratio. So the African buffalo. What is the the ratio that we need? 
Where's Zoopedia? How do I get Zoopedia open for this? Do I have to do it this way? Uh, let's get rid of that. So it's the African buffalo? Yeah. Three to five males and three to fifteen females. So we need like a three to three ratio, right? And right now, what have we got? A two to three. So we need another female. Can I not go to the trade window? Okay, open animal storage. Uh, we need a buffalo. Female African buffalo. We'll just get anyone. That's fine. Send to zoo. Kind of wish there was some auto to the management in this game as well. We could just tick a box and it will like auto manage. Like if there's... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that because it's probably not sustainable. Okay. But yeah, this little back section here, we're going to have meerkats, aardvark, all that stuff. And then I think here will be the elephants. And then we'll have like an elephant house over there where people can go in and actually see them. That sounds cool. But we'll focus on that in next week's episode, which will hopefully be a stream. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes. Any feedback at this point is very much appreciated, so please do get in touch. Besides that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.